What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at this week's edition of AEW Dynamite, as well as the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including two huge legends appearing at WrestleMania 40, WWE announced a brand new title, the top WWE star still not re-signed, is Becky Lynch leaving WWE, what The Rock actually said to Cody Rhodes, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania Shorts. As always, we won't recap the show, but just provide you with the good, the bad, and the downright ugly. As always, we start off with the goodest. Number one, Will Ospreay continues to impress. AEW Dynamite kicked off with a hard-hitting competitive match between new AEW star Will Ospreay and Katsuori Shibata. Ospreay has continued to shine since signing with the company and he's once again showed the world why he's one of the best wrestlers on the planet during his match. The AEW fans have already connected with Ospreay and if this popularity maintains, then it's likely that Ospreay will find himself in a prominent position when AEW went to Wembley Stadium for All In this summer. Number 2. It's Swerve Time the show last night was main evented by Swerve Strickland vs Takashita, and Strickland defeated Takashita to become the new number one contender for the world title. Strickland will take on world champion Samoa Joe at AEW Dynasty, and there are a strong portion of fans wanting AEW to crown Swerve. His work over the past 12 months has been outstanding, and Swerve's rise in AEW has been organic yet completely justified. That was good, what about the bad is number one, the Chris Jericho and Hook program. The program between Jericho and Hook continued last night during a backstage segment. Despite Hook defeating Jericho last week and AEW marketing it as the biggest win of Hook's career, it doesn't ultimately appear to be a big deal, as it's just the same old Hook. This is likely due to the standing of Jericho within the company having dramatically fallen, so victories over the wrestling legend don't have much weight as they used to. Unfortunately for those AEW fans who have a negative stance on Jericho, this program is continuing as AEW charged towards their Dynasty pay-per-view event. And number two, has the hype gone already? And just a few weeks into Mercedes Monet's AEW debut, it looks like the majority of the hype has died down. Monet was on commentary for a women's match last night, and whilst Monet did fine in this role, she didn't exactly make a huge splash on AEW programming like many fans expected. Once she has an actual program and is wrestling regularly on TV, this could definitely change. Yet the issues with AEW's women's division have been presented for some time now. Now there was nothing downright ugly on this show, but the show for the most part is a good watch and the in-ring elements are always top tier. It'd be great for AEW to invest some time into more compelling stories that keep viewers coming back each and every week though. What did you guys think of Dynamite last night? Let us know in the comments down below. Now let's move on to the news. Our first story looks at two huge legends appearing at WrestleMania 40. A top of today's news looks at a new report that potentially has major implications for WrestleMania 40 next weekend. According to PW Insider, WWE is in discussions to have Stone Cold Steve Austin and Hulk Hogan do something on WrestleMania weekend. Austin has been rumored for the show for some time now and fans continue to fantasy book him getting involved in the Roman Reigns vs Cody Rhodes main event. Seeing Austin confront his arch nemesis The Rock one final time on the grandest stage would be a truly epic moment and could receive one of the biggest pops in recent memory. As for Hogan, it's unclear what his role on the show could be. It's possible that due to Hogan being so instrumental in the success of WrestleMania as a concept, that they have Hogan either open the show or announce the attendance during night 2. Whatever WWE are planned for next weekend, fans can surely expect one of the most unpredictable and thrilling WrestleMania events of all time. Next up, WWE announced a brand new title. Last night, WWE confirmed that the WWE Speed concept that has been taped before shows for months will debut on April 3rd on X, and the winner of the tournament will become WWE Speed Champion. For those unaware of WWE Speed concept, it sees wrestlers trying to defeat their opponent in just three minutes. This is a unique concept and seems similar to the classic beat the clock match type that WWE have used in prior years. There's no news yet as to what the WWE Speed Championship looks like, yet we will likely see the championship when the show debuts next week. Next up, will Paul Heyman be scripted at the WWE Hall of Fame? A Paul Heyman is set for the biggest night of his career next weekend as Heyman will headline the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2024. One of the things fans collectively wanted for Heyman was for the WWE to give him free reign with his Hall of Fame speech, and this meant that Heyman would be required to follow a set script. Thankfully, during a recent interview on The Rich Eisen Show, Heyman confirmed that he's going to wing it and he's going to base his speech based on the pulse in the arena. 
I'm going to take the pulse of the room that night. I'm going to wing this because I don't really know what the crowd itself is expecting from me. Is this a crowd that wants me to talk about the modern day WWE and Roman Reigns and the bloodline and the WrestleMania main event? Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes? Is this a crowd that, you know, in Philadelphia wants to talk about ECW? Is this a crowd that's looking for some inspiration in a speech about pursuing one's own dreams, etc, etc? I really won't know until I take the temperature of the room that night. Heyman's speech is no doubt going to be incredible and we can't wait to see the wise man inducted next weekend. Next up, a top WWE star not re-signed. One of the most pressing topics as we head into WrestleMania 40 next weekend relates to Drew McIntyre. It's been widely reported that the number one contender for the world title hasn't re-signed. Even though fans believe that WWE are keeping McIntyre's contractual status private to work a storyline, PW Insider has now offered a major update. Per the latest update from PW Insider, those close to McIntyre say he and WWE have not yet reached a new agreement for a contract extension. Whilst many are reportedly under the working assumption that both sides will come to terms on a new deal, nothing is currently confirmed. Next up, is Becky Lynch leaving WWE? Speaking of expired contracts, another contract that is set to expire in WWE is the contract of Becky Lynch. Lynch appeared on the MMA Hour yesterday and stated that she is within her last two months of a current deal. It's also believed that Seth Rollins' deal will expire around the same time. It's bizarre and nonsensical that so many major names are within their last few months of their respective contracts. WWE is firing on all cylinders when it comes to their product, yet talent relations and talent contracts is in an area for key improvement. Next up, Becky Lynch shoots on Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey has a ton of negative comments to make regarding WWE in recent months, and during an appearance on the MMA Hour, Becky Lynch discussed Rousey and Lynch outright declared that when Rousey first arrived in WWE, she couldn't wrestle. She was coming off a different industry, she was a star and she should have been handled differently. I think she had such a great first outing that everybody thought, oh, she can wrestle. I mean this with respect, but she couldn't wrestle. Lynch then went on to discuss Rousey's acclaimed WrestleMania 34 in-ring debut, and Lynch gave some context as to why the match was such a huge success. What we do isn't something that you can just have one good match and then, okay, I'm off to the races. It's a craft, and you have to learn your craft, and you have to be diligent about learning your craft. But everybody treated Ronda like she already knew it, because when she first came in, she was good in that first bout, but she was also working with Kurt Angle. She was working with Triple H, Stephanie McMahon. It was a well-rehearsed match because everybody wanted her to succeed, and then it was, okay, she can do this. Off to the races. Next up, what The Rock actually said to Cody Rhodes. In the early hours this morning, The Rock took to Instagram and the final boss confirmed exactly what he whispered in Cody Rhodes' ear on Raw on Monday. As most suspected, The Rock stated, Tonight, I'm gonna make you bleed. The Rock certainly kept his word as the bloodshed on display was like nothing seen on Raw in a long time. And finally, CM Punk to appear on the MMA Hour. Our final story today shares some exciting news related to CM Punk. Yesterday it was announced that WWE star will appear on the MMA Hour with Ariel Helwani next week. Punk will refuse to hold back on any topics and it'll be interesting to see what he has to say about his current position in WWE as well as any sensitive topics such as Vince McMahon and his arch rivals Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins. When it comes to AEW, it's unlikely that Punk will be able to discuss his infamous AEW exit as it's believed there are still numerous NDAs at play that will stop Punk sharing his side of the story. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.